So hi, I'm Dan Kane. I'm an outbound product manager with the Platform Foundations team. And uh, we're going to talk about the question today, what is the purpose of performance analytics? Very important question. It's a fundamental question of what we're doing. So when we talk about a purpose of performance analytics, what we're really talking about is vision or surfacing what others may never have seen or thought to ask for. That's what we see the CNA, uh, what is invisible to others. To, but more importantly, most importantly, it's a shared vision. And when we talk about shared, we really mean we're uh, talking about process improvements, things we can do to improve processes within the platform. It's, it's a platform tool, and we're here, to, we're here to work towards process optimization. So I want to go through an example of what this means to me. And we say that performance analytics is a performance management solution, but it is not a BI tool. What that means, so it's so we have within the platform, we have all these tools built in. You have your SLA engine, you have targets and thresholds, you have natural language capabilities, you have forecasting, you have historical trending. We can do all this right in the platform. So when we so what performance analytics designed to do is to help us focus on specific process improvements inside the context of the platform's workflows or processes. So an example I have is, say as an organization, we have an, uh, an objective to improve our net promoter score. One of the inputs into an improved NPS is the first contact resolution rate or FCR. How do we improve FCR through performance? You can't just tell your, your uh, first level techs, get better at, get better at answering more. That's, you know, that, so I could put that measure on a dashboard, but it would, wouldn't, would tell them only what, you know, the, the outcome of their process. Are they getting, you know, are they getting better? Are they not getting better? What I want is to surface something on a dashboard that helps them understand how they can get better, how they can improve that. So one factor of first contact resolution is the application of knowledge articles during the case triage. Uh, we want to see all of our triage resources improving at utilizing knowledge then. So uh, as a customer, so let's say I'm a customer service dashboard owner. My job is to put together the dashboard for customer service. I provide a dashboard where knowledge usage rate is captured. And the rate can be broken down into assignment groups, assignees, case types, managers, whatever. But it's still, but I can get to that number. And that number is the core number. The rate, so we get to have those breakdowns. The first contact techs now have a way to measure and demonstrate improvement against the overall net promoter score objective. So it's alignment on a top level objective that we're all, that we're surfacing metrics that are important to help the individual resources in the process get better at pieces of the process. It's a so it's a preset target. So. Uh, so most important, and then I talked about this already, but I can do all of this in the context of the platform. So when we say we're in platform analytics, we're talking about the, con the concept that we are real time with performance analytics and reporting. It data stays in the platform. It's native. It's out of the box content tuned for service now workflow best practices. This is not taking. This is not look. You know, taking all of my data out to an external tool, and trying to figure out what it is I need to measure. We have all the data. We have uh, SLAs. We have metrics that we can set up specific measures we want to capture. All of that is in the is tuned specifically for the ServiceNow platform, and uh, and also very importantly, it's more secure. So it's protected in that the data in the platform is already automatically applying all of the ACLs and various access rules that we have set up uh, within the platform. So if I can report on high level metrics, aggregate metrics for, for a specific process, but I might not have the rights to be able to see the individual cases you know, on a case by case basis, that's fine. I could see the overall score, but the ACLs within the platform already set up prohibit me from seeing the cases I'm not supposed to see. So it's just a quick look at the you know, kind of the, what the purpose of performance analytics is. And we hope this helps answer, at least somewhat answer that question. What is the purpose of performance analytics?